Hey everybody, Adam Savage here, surrounded by Mythbuster props to tell you about an awesome opportunity you have to add a piece of Mythbusters history to your house, your collection. Um, all of these props behind me have been part of the Science Museum exhibit Mythbusters, the explosive exhibition, and have been traveling around the United States for the past decade. It was a groundbreaking exhibition that Jamie and I and Discovery are all very proud of, and I hope you got a chance to see it because it is no longer, but now all of those props have been collected and we are auctioning them off through Prop Store to benefit the Grant Imahara Steam Foundation. I'm doing show and tells of some of the key pieces and I have here some of the most key of the key pieces. If it looks like body parts, that's because it is. And yeah, you're right. These are body parts of Buster. I think these are some of the rarest pieces in Mythbusters history because I have like a couple of chunks of Buster uh, at the end of Mythbusters production run in 2015, we had a party in which every cast member got a burnt camera and some chunks of Buster. Uh, but these are some sizable pieces and I, we're gonna auction them off in two lots. We've got here a calf and we've got here a foot and a foot skeleton, I believe. How did these come to be? What are they? These are the rubber and steel parts from what is called a hybrid two crash test dummy. Um, crash test dummies have been used for decades. They've undergone several different design iterations in their desire to replicate uh, the movement and uh, responsiveness of a human body under the restrictions of a car accident. And way back in the beginning of Mythbusters, we filmed the Mythbuster pilots in the summer of 2002. Uh, the footage went back, we filmed uh, three episodes, nine stories. Actually, I think we shot 10 stories. Wow, 10 stories in something like six weeks? <laughs> yeah. Uh, at any rate, we filmed the pilots for Mythbusters in the summer of 02. The footage went back to Australia. They spent six months, six months cutting it into the first uh, three episodes of Mythbusters. And Discovery immediately picked up the show. So in January of 03 is when I learned we're gonna be making this television show. And I had been talking to Beyond Productions, the production company, and I said, I think we should get a crash test dummy. If we're gonna be like doing what we did in the pilots, like testing the limits of the human body, we should get a machine dedicated to testing the limits of the human body. These things survive car accidents. There's no more robust human analog we could possibly get. The problem is, they are crazy expensive, like in the hundreds of thousands of dollars expensive. So I started to think like a producer and I started to think, okay, they're crazy expensive. Nobody's gonna give us $100,000 to buy something just so we can blow it up. Not yet. Um, but what I learned when I did a little more research is that the entire industry of crash testing was currently using what was called a hybrid three dummy. And that made me think, well, if there's a hybrid three, clearly there is a hybrid two that no one cares about anymore. So I called a government agency. Now I'm going to be circumspect about which government agency I called for reasons that will become obvious. And I said, hey, I'm working on this new television show for the Discovery Channel, the pilots just aired. Um, we are trying to procure a crash test dummy. And they said, hmm, what, uh, what were you hoping to achieve? And I said, I was hoping to get a hybrid two crash test dummy. And the person I was speaking to said, well, you've said the magic words because that is absolutely something I think we can make happen. And then they explained to me that they were a government agency and it was not necessarily in their charter to be able to give stuff away that was government property. So he would like to lend me a, a, a hybrid two crash test dummy uh, so that maybe in the future I could return some of the burnt parts and they could cross an item off their checklist. Um, and I do believe that we eventually finally sent, uh, as a thank you, some burnt buster parts. I agreed never to disclose the agency. Um, and I will tell you that six or seven years after the reception of this hybrid two dummy, I ended up sitting next to the guy on the plane that authorized the release of this dummy and he denied ever hearing about us. So we'll all just keep mum about this. Um, these are chunks of the original Buster. This is the 03, 03 season one Buster. Um, and the other thing that was really worth talking about about this is 
At the beginning of this video, I said, if we're gonna be testing the limits of the human body, we gotta get ourselves one of these machines devoted to testing the limits of the human body. We could do anything we want to this. And the very first myth that we wanted to test was hammer drop. If you're falling from a great height, could you throw a hammer ahead of you into the water to somehow break the surface tension? I know when I say it really fast like that, it sounds surpassingly stupid, but it is a thing that some people believe. Uh, and we wanted to test it, so we got this crane that could go 180 feet above the water, and we dropped this buster from it. And we had, we had accelerometers in him to see the kind of force that he was gonna take when he hit the water. Here's the thing that you don't know about water, or maybe you do. Water resists impact in direct proportion to the speed of the impact. That means the higher you are above water when you hit it, the harder the water is. And that means that from a height like 180 feet, dropping onto water can be like landing onto a concrete runway. Like, I'm not joking at all. Sure, people have survived falling from great heights. Almost every single occasion, it's because they fell feet first at a slight angle and thus limited the amount of deceleration they were undergoing. When we dropped this crash test dummy from 185 feet, he sustained your average car accident, somewhere between 40 and 80 in your average car accident. Buster, from 185 feet, 575 Gs. In fact, I think on his second drop, the force of hitting the water tore his leg off at the hip, and we didn't find it for weeks. We actually even called up that government agency and said, could we have another leg? And they're like, yeah, but it's gonna cost you like 60 grand. And we we're like, ah, we can't do it. So Jamie went back to the location with like a modified clamming hook and he found Buster's original leg. And I believe that this is that leg. Yeah. So a crazy amount of Mythbusters history. It's not too much to say that like the story of this crash test dummy is inextricably linked to the, to the entire story of Mythbusters. So I'm just gonna say that. It's inextricably linked to the entire history of Mythbusters. And you have two chances to add this to your collection. The URL is propstore.com slash Mythbusters. All proceeds go to benefit the Grant Imahara Steam Foundation. Get yourself some chunks of Buster. <laughs> I will see you guys next time.